Hi, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and in this video we're going to have a look at Outlook Boards. Now, Outlook Boards essentially allow you to have a collection of information and resources on one single page, almost like a home page that's customizable to you. So this could mean, for example, that you add a couple of your calendars on there, you could add your to-do list on there, some notes, and even files that you're working on, and other colleagues' calendars as well. So I hope you found this video useful, and if you do, please remember to like and subscribe to Teach Blend. it really does help. You'll see here I'm in my standard calendar, and what I can do now in the view option is select board, and this is the new view via Outlook. And what this allows you to do is add various boards and items to that board. So for example, you can move around this calendar which comes default, and you can remove this one as well if you want to, but what you can do is then add to board and add various things. I'll just add the task list to show you. Here now you can see I've added task lists and I could also add the weather and I can even go to show all and add more things. I can add for example goals. I can also add files as well so a common file that I'm working on I might add. So let's have a look at that. So I'll click files I'm just going to choose this quality improvement plan and choose next. Now on my home page I've got that file, I've got my calendar, my to-do list, all in one simple page. I'm going to add a few more things now. I'm going to add a collection. And what a collection does is it allows you to essentially group up the individual items to your board. And all you do is you name this, and then what you can do is you can simply drag in the files and um, the items that you've added directly into that board, and it creates a collection for you, um, which makes it like grouping various things. So for example, now I can also change the color as well to this to highlight it even more. So I could have groups for classes or whatever I'm working on. You can also move to collection by selecting these as well. And you can also change views as well by clicking on the three dots. I'm just gonna click add board one more time and add another calendar. So this shows you how you could add your colleagues calendars onto a board so that you could see everything and you can change their views as well. So for example, it could be that you want to view their day or their work week and this is really useful. You can also add individual calendars to yourself as well and have a collection of calendars. You can also move these around under each other and you'll also be able to add tasks to calendars etc as well just as usual and you'll see on the right hand side like a preview of, of your space to help you lay it out. I hope you found this video useful and if you do please remember to like and subscribe to Teach Blend. it really does help. Thank you.